welcome back everybody to the 100% win Eden Streak Repentance Countdown, only on Northern Gaming, or I guess any other channel that wants to count down. But hey, it's us. 26 days into Repentance, 30 win on Eden Streak. Let's hop in and see what's going on here. We got two items because we had uh, Eden's Blessing last run. The seed here is 66E9TJXR. We have a Steam Sale, which is pretty nice. Uh, Taurus, which I don't really like. And let's look at our stats. Low speed because of Taurus, but it'll build constantly whenever we're in combat. Uh, okay range, nice tears, great shot speed, decent damage, and semi-positive luck. That I think rounds down, so it really doesn't matter, does it? And what's that? Doctor's Remote? Yeah. Doctor's Remote. So we get one uh, explosion every every two rooms. And we have, we don't know how many hearts we have, because, uh, curse the unknown. Uh, I used my charge even though I didn't la launch the thing. Oops, my bad. I was just testing what it was. I get confused sometimes with teleporter and, uh, doctor's remote, but teleporter's blue. Pause is green. PhD, that's a great pickup to have at the beginning of a run. We only get positive, uh, pills, or neutral pills. Uh, it would be great if we got some speed up pills so we could be quick and then our Taurus could build quicker. Uh, for those who don't know, once our speed hits 2.0 in a room of combat, we gain uh, pretty much the My Little Unicorn effect, the Chariot card effect, uh, so we can run through some enemies while being invincible. Once we hit 2.0 speed, here it goes. So if a room's taking too long and our speed can build to that point, that'll happen. We start at such a low speed, it takes a while. But if we had a natural 2.0 speed, every room we walk into would just automatically be, uh... Started off as Chariot. Let's look in here. Oh my gosh, what a lot of money that is. And to start with Steam Sale, we might get lucky find another Steam Sale? That would be, uh, cool. Let's not go there just yet. Uh, since we have slow speed, it's gonna take a while. Let's clear these other rooms, maybe, and get something interesting. Well, that worked out pretty good. Hopefully we can get a key, maybe, and test out that, uh, shop. Or not. Okay, well... We can come back there if we want to, but again, it's, um... It'd be a pain coming through this hallway with our slow speed. I might be able to do three spikes here. Let's, let's risk it. We did it. Oh, there's another Tinted Rock. That's pretty nice. Uh, we'll probably just use our bomb on the Tinted Rock and call it a day, because it's basement, so it's not like we're gonna need the what you call for the uh, boss here. Should be pretty simple, probably Monstro, Gurglings, something like that. Where's the Swerm? Here he is. There he goes. Alright. Another Troll Bomb. Another Tinted Rock here, actually. Well, this one's near some pots, so let's do this one. And, uh... <laughs> they dropped a Sticky Nickel that we can't pick up. Isn't that perfect? Oh, well, it's Ragman. That's actually probably the most threatening thing we could have on, uh... Oh, ouch. On the regular basement. But we're going to hopefully live until our speed hits 2.0 and wipe out these monstrosities because they're now uh, overwhelmed. Okay, Ragman. We get it. Holy shit. Alright. Hopefully you die. There we go. I don't know what our health's like, but uh, luckily we had more than one heart uh, or else we would have been dead right there because of the damage we took. Filigree Feather might work out. Left hand probably better in the long run. Okay, we don't have a charge. We could go in the shop, but I don't feel like it. We have at least a soul heart and a half. Let's take a look at our health and see what's going on here. Ragman, what a what a pain in the ass. Alright, so we have... We had a soul heart before we picked up any health. So that means Ragman hit us for a whole soul heart, maybe? And we started with two soul hearts? Not great, but... um. I guess Taurus saved our life, basically. But I still don't like it. So, oh well. If it procs in this room, we're just going to be stuck doing nothing for the time being, because we can't walk over to Gluttony. Wow, what a, what a sound. The room finished at the exact time it procced, so it made that disgusting sound that I never want to hear again. Alright, we got to find some red hearts. Or more soul hearts, in order to take some deals... Uh, left hand could help with that, with some red chests, potentially. Uh, or we might be going with angel deals, in which case filigree feather would have been the better, better pick. But, you know, who knows. Okay. 
Okay, building our speed here. As you can tell, Isaac's moving faster. And there you go. Can we walk over poops? We can. That's pretty nice. We get a free... Uh, I thought that was a curse room. We don't get a free anything. I was going to go in the curse room for half a heart. It's an arcade. Oops. Anyway. Might as well use this here. We get a free recharge at the end of the... I think I missed everybody. We only have one key. It'd be really nice to get another one. Uh, get out of here. Oh my gosh. Where is he at? Oh, there he is. Alright. Oh, we got another one. Okay. We got uh, Black Hole. It's pretty nice, though having a bomb every other room is nice too. Let's look in the shop and see what's going on. Alright. It's a uh, half price shop because we started with Steam Sale. The Balls of Steel Pill is incredible. I don't know. I, I kind of like Black Hole, but the bomb every other room is pretty nice, especially when we don't have any bombs. I know we have one, but we usually don't have that many, right? Okay, it's not it's not the kind of bomb I was talking about, and our incredibly slow speed made it impossible to get away from that. Let's come back when we have a charge, and we can get that Tinted Rock. I think now more than ever an all stats up is important because it, it gets our speed and a bit of damage which would just be incredible at this point because our speed is lacking but if we just got a speed up that's it's not very satisfying is it that's all I'm gonna say so if we get the halo or magic mush from the boss that would be just great oh my gosh all right and we're doing this one more dip Alright, we got a bomb from here, which is nice. And we got the doctor's remote charge. Alright, two soul hearts. So we can take a few deals um, if we make it there. Uh, ever so slowly. Let's check these for interesting. Nothing too interesting. Alright, oh my gosh, what a room. Alright, we're probably going to get Taurus in here, just because it'll take forever. We could leave right now through that door, but I'd rather get the uh, charge and potential item drop. Alright, we're just gonna wait. Here we go. All right. we got some bombs near the pots. Might get some coins from them. Or spiders. Great. Perfect. Alright, unprotected blast assist. Pretty much not a threat. Though I have been hit by them before. Not kill, just, just hit. There's a bomb. We got a charge, which we will use against the boss. Could be something tough now that we're in Burning Basement. It's the haunt. And yeah, some people don't like the haunt. So that'll help, assuming we get through the ghosts unscathed. Actually, we might just... Alright. I thought we might keep him around until Taurus proc because we were just doing so little damage. But Taurus is about to proc anyway. Perfect. That's actually great. We finish them up, and then we finish this. Do one of those. Don't have to even use Doctor's Remote. Oh, we do. Okay, well. You know. Range and luck. Not what we wanted at all. We can take one deal. And will that deal be Book of Sin? Because there's no way we're taking Little Delirium. I'll tell you that. I guess. Why not? Alright, it'll provide bombs, keys, uh, hearts, maybe coins and batteries as well. But the batteries will just go right back into it. So we're low on health, but uh, we're hopeful. Oh my gosh. Alright, we got champions over here. Let's stay back and use our new and, and uh, improved increased range to blast them from pretty far away. And let's look for some keys on this floor. We need them for the item room and the shop. And just to survive, basically. Alright. There's the low point of Taurus. And there's a nice soul heart, which is pretty nice, actually. Okay. So we got Caves 1. So nothing too drastic is going to be in here. No Mr. Mines. Uh... Hopefully we go through pretty well and get a nice boss item drop. 
or else that would be upsetting. But hey, it's Isaac. You're supposed to be upset. That's our first chest in like two floors since we picked up the left hand. And we don't have any keys, as I previously complained about. Alright, we gotta come back there at a snail's pace. Try to get some shots on that flying butthole. What are these guys' names? I don't even know. Alright, Red Heart, not interested. One red chest, probably not interested as well. Okay. This room will take a little bit due to the nature of the mushrooms, but that's okay. We're already halfway done. We're already halfway done. Thank you. We'll save uh, we'll save Taurus for the big one. Probably take it out in two or three hits. Okay, not three hits. There we go. Alright, let's see what's in there. Many bombs. Just kidding, the one bomb is from... Book of Sin. Alright, we're pretty slow, but our speed will increase, so these guys shouldn't catch up to us. And by the time they do, we'll kill them. Or they'll be dead. Stoney's here just to make people angry, and guess what? That's working. Alright, there's a key. Let's go back... Let's crawl back to the item room, because it's basically... our walking speed right now. Again, the halo would be incredible. I'm not even going to ask for magic much. That's too. That's too rude. All right, lusty blood. Still, still pretty great. And we got a free relax pill. Maybe we get some coins or something from here. Let's check. All right, two coins. Definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Let's go. Let's hope for another key. We can visit the shop. We have the steam sale. We want to get a second one. Um, this might be a secret room. You know what? It's not. This might... Actually, I don't know. What's the layout of this one? Never mind. Not a secret room there. That's for sure. I was hoping that one was. That way we could get into the curse room for just the price of a couple bombs. But uh, it didn't work out that way. Alright, there's the shop. We need the key. Here is the secret room to the right of here, maybe. I almost want to use our bombs offensively. But uh, we got Lusty Blood, so every I enemy we kill in a room will up our damage for that room. So we're actually probably just fine not using bombs. So we get our damage up, then we get our walking speed up. Kill this thing. Alright, there's the key for the shop. Here's the bomb for the secret room. Perfect. A battery is okay. We'll use that after we clear one more regular room. Hopefully it's not the shop. Turned into a greed fight, but let's check it out. Very slowly. We could buy some hearts, some pills, another steam sale maybe. None of the above. Well, there's a heart. Alright, we are low on health. Let's see what's in here. Compost. Not, not that interested. We got half price, so all we need is seven cents for a cool item. Blue candle's nice. Two cents for a pill's pretty nice. Telepills is it shouldn't be on the PhD list. I know it doesn't have a negative effect. Why is alright. We're taking the key, we're taking a heart, we're getting out of here. We're taking the we don't have a cent. If we had one more cent, I'd get the pill. But I'm not walking back here extra slow once we do find one more cent. Telepills is I guess it's an okay pill. We can use it in case we need to get out of Oh, not boss rush, because we're going to be at like 99 minutes by the time we kill mom. But, you know, maybe a challenge room or something. Okay, there's our what you call. We got a key. Let's get the battery from here. And get a tower card. Telepill's probably, probably more helpful and less likely to get us killed. Just less likely. Not impossible. Try to kill these guys before they throw up on you, or walk into you. That's tough, with low damage. There we go. Alright, what a room this is. Oh my god, I wish we had the proc of Taurus quicker than we actually do. We might just die here, uh, because this room's pretty awful. Cool, alright. Nah, we'll get Taurus now, but holy shit, what a room. Okay. 
devil. We're going to need that for the boss. Because we're incredibly underpowered. Gertie. Three point damage. It'll help there for sure. Uh, we're going to definitely get Taurus in this room. And it won't kill Gertie. So we're going to have to do some combat after that as well. But you know what? That's alright. Okay. Guess we got hit there. My bad. Spawn some more enemies. Thank you. Now our lusty blood can kick in for real. And uh, every enemy we kill gets our damage up. So we walked over how many blobs there a lot. We have so low movement speed. It's not even funny. This run actually pretty much sucks. And it's all Taurus' fault. Despite getting us past the first boss. Alright, tears up is nice. The hearts are nice. Uh, let's take Telepills and mosey ever so slowly towards our impending doom. Speed speed really sets the, uh, the tone of a run, which I guess is the definition of speed when you're running. But having the slow walking speed is just awful. Looking for the spoon. Looking for a wooden spoon. That's, that's what I'm asking for. Not even Halo anymore, just Wooden Spoon. Please. Wait. Is that a range up? Or speed up? The belt. The belt is a speed up. I forget what Wooden Spoon is. It's when you know every item that you forget every item too. It's, it's, it kind of works out both ways. Get over here. Alright, let's look up here. Probably not the boss, but hey, might be some more floor lickers. I don't know. This run is a bit cursed. I'll say that much. And sure, that's like 50% of runs. But again, it's Isaac. Yes, 50% of runs are cursed. Alright. That's gotta go... I was hoping to hit the portal. There we go. Alright. Well, at least the bomb gave us enough damage that we could take out the portal pretty quickly. Here's the shop. We only have 5 cents. We can't do too much. But hey, we got a balls of steel pill, which is great. It's white and blue. We gotta look for that. But it's not here. So, let's do this. Which one's this? Bombs are key. Not really affecting us right now. We got pretty low of both. Let's look for the ding-dang item room. And, uh, hopefully something to help us. My lord. Lusty blood is nice. Tears up from, uh, Mr. Dolly's nice. So is the health. But somehow. Some way. It's still taking a while. Also, apparently those guys don't count as, uh, separate en- What? Does every room have these butt lickers in at this floor? And they don't count as separate enemies according to Lusty Blood, so we're not getting any damage up. So it's just us shooting at these, uh, floor lickers. That's fine. That's fine. Get out of here. Alright. We gotta find something. We need the item room. We can't walk into a boss room like this. We're gonna get, we're gonna get crapped on. Sorry for the complaining tone, but it's, uh, it's pretty dang rough out there. And by out there, I mean right here. Holy crap. Alright. Okay, another telepills. There's that item room everybody was talking about. Alright, but we get one kill, and that's like a one damage up. So once we do that, every room gets easier. Alright, another penny. Tears up and fear shot, so it's nice, I suppose. For the tears up. Okay. Uh, there might be some other stuff on the other side of the floor. I honestly don't feel like doing it because it'll take forever to walk there, and we're not very powerful to take it out anyway. So let's go to the boss and see what opportunities it might present. A husk. One of the simplest bosses this deep. Please, Lord, don't let us uh, have any issues with it. Alright, let's get these guys out of here. Alright, there we go. There's our damage up. We're going to be getting the speed thing soon. Alright, here it comes. Get him. Get this guy. One of those. And we did get hit. Incredible. Oh, God. A speed up. Thank you, caffeine pill. 
And pheromones. We'll, not, we'll take it. You know what? Headless baby. It's garbage. Why would you give me this garbage? we got to speed up and I still don't feel fast. It's because we're at 1.06. But it's better than nothing. We'll activate Taurus faster each room now. And we finally have above base speed. Going into Necropolis 1. Curse of no map. Right, why aren't you dying? Thank you. Holy moly. Alright, let's look for the item room. Let's look for the shop. Pretty standard, uh... Stuff to do on every floor. You're feared, and you're coming towards me. Go to hell, man. You piece of garbage. Alright, well, we killed the ball. And all these guys with Taurus. That's what happens when... You have crap damage. Oh my... You guys are back here again. Or maybe since they started separately, they'll be counted as separate entities for Lusty Blood this time? I don't know. Because I can't kill one. There we go. Didn't count. Perfect. Get back here. Get back here. Hey. Alright. We got the penny. We're getting a little bit of pennies. Not a lot of shop action. Surprising since we started with Steam Sale. But that's okay. Well, I guess we did buy some hearts and pills. Um... And we get started with PhD in the item room, so we couldn't buy that. But it was a nice get. Because we got a range up, I think. And two balls of steel pills. It's probably saved the whole run, actually. Isn't that great? Alright. Haven't seen any Tinder rocks lately. And I've had plenty of time to look at them since I mosey through each room. But you know what? That's okay. We don't need Tinder rocks. Because you know what? We would get small rock. Is this dead end? We get Small Rock, which is another 0.2 speed down, bring us pretty low. That's alright. Oh my god, what a terrible room. Uh, and if what you call procs, we're just going to be sitting here in our underpants. Alright. Well, we can't get that key. That's one red chest. Left hand's not doing anything. We did swallow it, so... Rip chest chests. Uh, we swallowed it because we have marbles. And, uh, that's that. Okay, here's some cash. Five cents. Four cents. And another dead end. Where's where's the all the rooms on this floor? I don't know. I think we gotta go down from the starting room. I'm not even sure. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're, we're getting pretty bad luck here in, uh, in the theory of uh, everything. Not the movie with the guy. Just uh, everything's going pretty bad for us. In theory. Alright, well, there's a battery, we'll use it. Alright, at least we got a heart back. 26 days in a repentance. Uh, probably about 26 days till we finish this run as well. No real repentance news, that's why I didn't mention any. Uh, nothing new from Ed's Twitter or anywhere that I could see. Secret room probably on the right. Bastard. Why are they feared and jumping at me again? That was never explained. But oh well, alright. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. Spiders. Okay, let's get these guys. Shouldn't be much of an issue. We're going to get our speed buff soon, just because we keep shooting the front of their masks. There we go. Beautiful. Alright, we're looking for the item room, I think, still. Somehow, we don't have it yet. This guy's about to jump on a freaking uh, spike. Maggie's Faith, we could take, uh, but it'll probably get swallowed, and then we'll have Red Heart HP later on. But honestly, uh, everything else this run has gone pretty pretty badly, so why not do that wrong, too? Let's at least grab the Golden Key and then think about it. We haven't had a single Red Heart HP this run. As far as I know, we might be Blue Baby. Kidding, by the way. Alright, let's see what's over here. Please lead to a room of importance. Oh my god. Room of importance. Thank you. Finally. I don't like this room very much, but oh well. At least these feared guys uh, run away from you and don't jump towards you crazily. Alright. Nice key. We'll use our golden key. You gotta be fucking kidding me. 
Here's a shit space bar item. Great. Thank you. It has its uses, don't get me wrong, but not what we need right now, obviously. We need combat stats or shot effects. Not another space bar item. It could have been the best space bar item. I wouldn't have been happy. Well, I guess I would have been happy with pinking shears. But still. We didn't need a space bar item to show up right now in the, in the midst of our glory. Alright, where's the shop and where's the... The boss room. I don't know. I don't know anything. Can we go left out of this room? We can. Let's check there. This might be correct. Okay. Headless Horseman. Pretty rough fight for us here, actually. Because we have no power. And nothing to be thankful for. You know, besides the pills we got in the shop, we've got surprisingly not a lot of pills this run. Remember, was it yesterday's run where pills were dropping left, right, and center? And there was no reason for that. We didn't have the, the pill cap or anything. Holy shit, blow up already. Alright, when I'm right next to you, perfect. Alright. Amazing. Alright, let's go here. Let's go here. Alright, I was just trying to tease him to come down so we could move safely, obviously. Alright, how many times are you gonna jump in one second? Get out of here. Alright, pretty rough run for us, actually. Pheromones. I mean, we could use it, but probably trying to use it will get us hit. Just because that's my luck. Alright. Here's the shop. Probably greed. But we'll go in anyway, just to prove a point. And we have the, the golden key, so it's not going to cost us anything in that regard. Alright, let's go. Potato peeler for three cents. We could walk around with the potato peeler and Maggie's faith. Is that an interesting play? It's an interesting play. I don't know if it's the right play. Let's keep going. It was only three cents. Hey, we got a whole dime from there. So that's pretty nice. Let's let's take an, one soul heart. That's it. Let's let's deal with some other. Okay, so we got one floor with an extra item to choose from. It's probably gonna be Curse of the Blind. Probably not worth the uh, seven cents at this point. This late in the game. All right. Last bomb. Oh my gosh, these trash items in the shop. Mom's bottle of pills. Another possible one, because we could keep pulling balls of steel. I kind of like the Maggie's Faith Potato Peeler play, though. You gotta take Blanky. Alright, let's go get let's go get Maggie's Faith. I think it's just right here. I think it's... I think it's just right here. Wait, we need another bomb. Shh. Okay, that was that was tactical, and um, I think I think it worked out. I guess we could be bombing the uh, the vanities too when we have bombs for pills. Going back to my lack of pill uh, comment. Are we up here? No. Okay. Hey. Jerk. Alright, Blanky gave us another soul heart and a holy mantle hit for every boss room. Maggie's Faith will give us an eternal heart at the beginning of every floor, which at the beginning of every next floor, son of a bitch, will turn into uh, a red heart, which Potato Peeler can peel into a cube of meat. So, a couple steps there, but starting... Oh my god. Uh, starting in womb one, we can get a cube of meat. Every what the fuck is this? Are you fucking serious? Jesus Christ. Alright. Like, how rare is this boss fight? It's gotta show up at this terrible, terrible run. I'm killing Ragman. I'll get Ragmega later. Jesus Christ. Alright, again, Taurus probably saves the day. I hate it as an item, and I loathe it as a person. So, let's just shoot Ragmega a bit. And 
get more damage ups by killing his, uh, his spider friends, really. I mean, there's no downside to that. Something hit me. That's probably a downside. Ragmega has, like, zero health. And, uh, it's gonna take us about three minutes to kill him, probably. Oh my... Jesus Christ. Alright, get out of here. Okay, all three balls are loose. Ragmega... Just perish. Thank you. Oh my god. HP. It's not even, uh... I don't know. Let's go. Holy shit. Alright, Depths 2. Depths 2. We have a Red Heart from the HP up, and an Eternal Heart from Maggie's Faith. I'm not going to turn it into a cube of meat just yet. Let's wait till we pass, um... This guy's stuck back there. That's pretty nice, actually. Let's wait till we pass Mom and get our Devil Deal or not because we might just want to spend the red heart for a devil deal. Why is there no... Uh... I don't know. I th the witch oh my god. The, uh, the Taurus messes with the sound for every room. Hey, here's the item room. Maybe it sucks. Actually, I'm pretty sure it does suck. Don't even ask me how. Everything sucked this whole run. So I'm sure it's complete garbage. Holy water. I'm calling it now. It's just going to be holy water. Or a spacebar item that nobody wants. Alright. Hey, it was Curse of the Blind, just like I said. Spoonbender. Okay, I mean... It's not a bad thing. I don't know how helpful it's going to be, but um, it's, it's not a bad thing. I guess we could say that. Probably a uh, probably secret room up here, too. Not that we have any bombs. Alright, red chest, because we gulped the left hand. Oops. Uh, in a boss challenge room? I don't think so. For a regular challenge room, I would have done it. Alright, we can't use that or else we lose the eternal heart. Which means we can use it, but we just use the, lose the eternal heart. But we changed our space bar item in a strange eternal heart strategy, so it's probably not the best idea throw every heart away. Alright. We need to get... Oh my god. Alright, we finally got some pills. There's another telepills that's a different color. Or at least I don't think the other one was red with speckles. So that means one of them was... I forget what turns to telepills when you get PhD. Probably triple question marks or something. I don't know. Mom's hand's moving around because it's feared. So we got a, we finally got a chest full of pills, and uh, didn't really pay out. I guess we got the other pheromones we can pick up after this, or take the pellet pills, so we can get out of boss rush after we kill mom at the, uh, the 35 minute mark. Okay, verp. Get our pheromones back. Probably should have saved that for a balls of steel. Oh well. All right. Pretty upset uh, with this whole run, as I previously said. But I just wanted to reinforce it by saying it again, just in case anybody thought I was having a good time. Now that we had <laughs> homing shots. Oh my gosh. This room. All right. We got to get our Cuba meat going. Screw the red heart. We don't have time. Uh, potato peeler also gives us a damage up whenever we do that. So you know what, this room just got less harmful to us because we killed it. We don't have any bombs still. Let's push these guys back. All right. There we go. The spikes here really save the day. Cuba meeting the damage up. Why would I pay a key for that? Cuba meeting the damage up should hopefully do something nice for us. Oh my god. That's my fault entirely. But I'm still just so upset with myself. Alright. Jesus Christ. Alright. We never found the shop. Which is probably greed. But. We have to check anyway. I know we only have five cents. But we'll probably find another cent by the time we get there. 
and two soul hearts or something might help out a lot. You know what? Give me just a second. Alright, and we're back. What are we doing? Oh yeah, we're looking for the shop. Let's check it out down here. This ain't the shop, but we're on the way. Alright, sorry sorry for being so upset. This run is just, you know, it's, it's terrible. But that's that's what streaks are made out of. If, you, if every one, oh my god, if every run is incredible, then your streak doesn't matter. And the extra speed from Taurus uh, got us hit there, but you know what? That's okay. You die? Oh my god. There we go. Alright, let's just hide here till we get the buff. The buff. Kill these guys. Kill this thing. Incredible. Not only are we stuck with red chests, because we gulped it, they've all been garbage. I don't think we've got a single soul heart, let alone an item. But hey, Yera, maybe we'll get blank card Yera and break the whole damn game again. What do you guys think? Get out of here. Get out of here, ghost. Alright, perfect. Oh my gosh. Oh no. What the hell? Why was he moving while blasting? And the cube of meat is nice for when we do get, uh, could be blank card, I don't know. I, did we get a heart and lose a heart by just walking over here? What is this pill? What is this? Range up. We didn't need that. But thanks. I'd love to get Libra. I'm sure it would give us a speed up, and I don't know about anything else. And a range down. What was I saying? Oh, cube of meat. When we do proc, uh, Taurus, not only do we hit them with the rainbow body, but we can hit him with the uh, cube of meat as well, so that's nice. There's a there's a positive. We'll take Yara down to uh, Mom. We didn't receive a single bomb that whole floor, but that's okay because I know exactly where the super secret room was. There was only five choices. All right, let's see what uh, Mom has in store. Red Mom. So cube of meat will actually be pretty helpful, and uh, Taurus will be whatever. I feel like we're gonna proc it soon. There it is. So that's when she does the eye course. There we go. All right, one more stomp or two. There we go. Okay, we got a devil deal, but they're blind items, and there's three of them. It could be Abaddon. It could be Seven Seals. We don't know. And at this stage, I probably should have risked one, but I couldn't. I couldn't do it. All right. And here we are on the womb. We have the red heart from the other eternal heart. So let's pop that. We get another 0.2 damage up, which is incredible. And a level 2 meat boy. Okay, I don't see any tinder rocks, but we don't have any bombs or the means to get over there. So I guess it doesn't really matter. All right, one red chest. I mean, we got eight keys, so whatever. Let's do this. That makes you small. Sure, sure. That's actually nice. And balls of steel. That's great. And that was an orange? Was that an all orange pill? So that means there was a balls of steel originally in our rotation. And then we got, um, oh my god. And then we got another one thanks to PhD. So that's a nice find. Also, I don't know how I avoided damage in that room. I was just going to walk and not care. I should have waited in the corner. And, uh, just hit me. Oh, creep from, uh, what's his name? I should have waited in a corner and just used Taurus to go through that button room. I really didn't care. So, but I took damage in this room to make up for it. Because the red creep on the womb floor always, uh, always blends in pretty well. Well, we got a bomb. Now all we need is a tinted rock. Which isn't in that pile as far as I know. Let's keep on going. We're looking for, not this room. But that's okay. Easy room. We might get a bomb or a key or nothing from it. Things are starting to turn uh, nice, right? Because of, uh, I'll think of something. Because of, uh, well, maybe not, actually. Uh, secret room, probably here. Why not waste our bomb? Probably a battery. Or it's greed. Interesting, interesting. Kind of want to hide until, uh, what you call, procs, and then we'll just kill him. I don't want to take damage. It's a tough room to fight greed in, that's all I'll say. Alright, here we go. 
the rock layout, it makes you come to him sometimes. And it's just dangerous. I'll just put it out there. Alright, let's go out here. There we go. Okay. We're racking up our damage thanks to Lusty Blood. Taking out some easy hosts. There's a battery. These guys are doing something. I don't know if I've ever heard that music sped up before. It sounds crazy. Alright, do we have a Tinted Rock here? Not that I can tell. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh, things are looking up because of the, uh... The Potato Peeler play. That's gotta be it, right? Right, guys? Potato Peeler? That's what's... That's what's making us feel good about this run. There we go. Oh my gosh, we didn't kill him? But next floor... Oh, please proc. We need our... Speed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Why aren't you dying? Okay. Next floor we'll have a walking uh, meat cube buddy. So he'll actually be doing some interesting stuff uh, to help us out. AKA damaging some monsters. We won't have the orbital. But we'll get it back in a floor or two. Actually I guess literally two floors. Uh, once we have used meat uh, potato peeler five times. Excuse me. And using it five times also gives us a full damage up because it's 0.2 damage each time. Oh, we knew that was telepills. Right. Let's look here. Oh my gosh. Didn't even see that guy across the room. That's my bad. Let's, um... Got a super secret room up there. That's nice. We don't have any tinder rocks that I can tell. Oh, we got a we got a black heart. Could have yared it, but you know what? Who knows? I don't know what that means, but I said it. We might use the yara somewhere because we're getting the red chests on the chest and red chests forever on. And uh, it's because we gulped the left hand. And yes, I keep bringing it up because I feel terrible about it. All right, triacnid. Not a tough boss, unless he lands on you for no reason with his face in about five seconds. Or right then. But, uh, you know, should be should be pretty nice. Oh yeah, and Taurus. Well, perfect. Speed and range. Oh my god, look at that speed up. 0.6 speed up. I'm so happy. It took forever. And the range. Oh my god, the range. You wouldn't believe it. We needed that range. Let's look in here for no reason. You bastard. Get out of here. Alright. We don't need keys for too much else this run because we're never going to see a gold chest. So we got balls of steel. It's pretty nice. And uh, we're going to proc uh, Taurus pretty quickly now. And there it is. Pretty easy to take out Mom's hand in that situation. And as previously said, Meat Boy does nothing because he was fixated on nerve ending. Genius. Do something, man. They're all over the place. Alright, let's try to take that out. Oh my gosh. Look how quickly we get the uh, speed buff. We don't have the orbital, but again, we'll get it back when we go to the chest. And it'll be useful there. Oh my gosh. Alright, you guys want to keep coming after me? That's fine. I don't know where I am anymore. Okay, there I am. Is this utero? Yeah, it is utero. Alright. Those, uh, those, those spiders. Worms. Why did I call them spiders? Those ground worms. They're a pain in the butt, but you know what? With our Taurus, we should be pretty, pretty fine for taking them out, no problem, you know? That's all I'm gonna say. One more. Kill this thing. Alright, let's look for a tin and rock. I mean, we've got plenty of health now, but you never know. When disaster could strike. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Hey, what is this room layout? I'm just walking through rooms. This guy's walking through rocks because he can. What a bastard. No offense. Alright, kill this guy. Kill them all. What? The f what? We were still blinking. Come on. Am I right, guys? Anyway. 
What a terrible run. Alright, no tin and rock here. A bunch of little witch calls here, right before we get our invincibility. Of course, they all walk into us, but that's okay. We could walk in there, but it probably would have gotten hit just because we were still blinking, and everybody knows that's not, that's not okay to blink. Alright, this terrible room with the eyes. Just waiting for this. Thank you. Look at Meat Boy. He's literally doing nothing to this eyeball. Holy God. Meat Boy, can you do one damn thing? Please. Thank you. I, I took you as a strategy, and the explosion from that worm did more damage to Polly's fucking... Bastard. Alright, the moon. We don't want the moon. Alright, let's go in here and watch how Meat Boy apparently will do nothing. I don't know. Well, we got a nice damage up from the eyeballs. So, that'll be nice. Meat Boy, I think, is actually doing damage for once. Bastard. And we still have the Holy Mantle effect from Blanket for the boss room. So, that's pretty nice. There's Chubb. From the Department of Magic Mysteries and other things. There goes our Holy Mantle hit, which is fine. Oh my god, why do you make me walk around the room? Are you doing anything? Meat Boy, are you just standing there? Be honest. Alright. Let's go in here. Maw the Void is a nice damage up. Uh, sure, sure. Let's take it. I don't know. And there's a chance we get black hearts from it. Alright, next time we find two soul hearts or more, we're just going to use Yera. Some blue fires on this floor, hopefully bring that to pass. We have a level 4 cube of meat. I swear to god, you better kill somebody, you jerk. Oh yeah, we got Spoonbender, so our Maw of the Void will, uh, will bend. Such as that. And we got Taurus, still, which I forgot about, or maybe I just wanted to forget about it. Okay, no Tinted Rocks that I can see. Alright, you know what? We might as well use a key at this point, because there's no reason not to. Found pills, and is that balls of, that's balls of steel, that's Yara it. No reason not to. And we get two I found pill pills. Pills pill. Right, anyway, let's get out of here. Nickel, not helpful. That's okay. Battery, not helpful. I already said batteries aren't helpful. And we got a black heart from Maw the Void. Balls of steel. Bombs are key. I guess we'll take it to have more bombs. Because we won't need any more keys this run. Because we swallowed left hand. And yes, um, that's like the 20th time I said it. I'm sorry. It's just so stupid. Who would do that? Alright. Let's check in here. We actually found Isaac pretty quickly. We went right to him. That's incredible. Oh my gosh. We gotta kill these guys. Real quick. Alright, let's take a look in here for some guppy pieces or a first soul heart in months. You know what? We gotta get this just in case we get uh, money equals power. Holy hell. Alright, we made it to Isaac Oops, amazingly. It took 35 minutes to get to mom, and then just 10 minutes later, we're already at Isaac. So, you tell me how that works. Oh, almost got hit there. Right, I don't know how much damage Meat Boy's doing, but it's obviously not enough. Oh my god. Why did we... Oh, because we have bandage. Or old bandage or whatever. Alright. Perfect, perfect. Gonna wait for Isaac. We'll blast our maw on him. Which is nice, until it gets us hit. And then, um... There you go. We actually have lots of health, thanks to all the balls of steel pills. And I stood right in the way of that shot, so... It's pretty dumb. I guess the run would be over uh, if we didn't ha oh my god, I've moved up into that shot. The run would pretty much be over unless we had PhD in the beginning for all those balls of steel. And I wish it was over right now, but it's not. Okay, let's look at these terrible chests that we brought upon ourselves. I mean, I guess uh, it's actually pretty nice, because now we got a level 2 Meat Boy. 
Relax, we're not gonna waste our time. Found pills, burp. Another balls of steel. Actually, some nice pills. Probably some of the greatest red chests I've ever seen on a chest. Another range up. And you know what? We're taking this, mother brother. And hopefully it puts us two rooms away. Well, you know what? Can't win them all. We got lucky with some nice chests. And now we got, uh... Taurus with the orbital. We finally have some decent setup to starting to damage people. Alright, this is going to be a rough room because of the uh, fear. The one was about to fear land on me, but I think Taurus proc just in time. But we just got hit there. That's okay. Can't win them all. These. That's a dead end, actually, so, uh, Telepills betrayed us to the highest degree imaginable. And not a single Mall of Void payout there, which I don't believe for a second. Okay, double adversary to piggyback off or double the dark one room, which is, uh, this room's pretty rough. Unless you have a spoon bender, because that's what we got, and obviously that's the thing keeping us alive right now. That is a facetious statement, but that's okay. I'm just going crazy at this point, and I don't know what I'm talking about. I'd love for this run to be over. And I never want to see its face uh, again. We were never super low health. I just felt incredibly weak this whole run. And it's so unfortunate. That's all I'm going to say. Alright, oh my gosh. Really? Oh. I guess we'll shoot the Dingles first, because they can like shoot, so that's dangerous. I don't know. You, you tell me. What do we kill first in this room? The, the Dingles or the, uh, the Mega Turds? I don't know what these guys are even called. The big ones that pop into two to pop into two. Hell, we got a penny anyway. Let's head down, because I'm feeling real down about this run. Our little horn, we haven't seen you. We saw your friend Ragman twice, though. For some reason. Oh, double cage. Can't let this run go without a double cage room. I'm surprised it's not quadruple cage at this point. That would make more sense to me. It's always quadruple cage. Alright, we're getting some damage though, thanks to uh, Lusty Blood. Which is a good item. And we got two tears ups, which is nice. But, I don't know, it just felt pretty underpowered the whole run. I think it was the speed. Once, once we had uh, Roid Rage, I was like, you know what? We're on top of the world. And the Meat Boy play kind of worked out. Obviously, we didn't need the health from the book. Oh, Jesus. We didn't need the health from the book. So that's fine. We could get another Meat Boy right now. And it would give us a speed down, actually. So F that. I ain't doing that crap. Man, are you kidding me? Oh, thank goodness. Taurus proc. Surrounded by Mega Troll Bombs. Get out of here. Wrath, come on. Alright. Okay, get some pills to finish up the run. We got 46 range. Should be enough to help us out in uh, Blue Baby's room. Okay. And here we go. Will you, will you look at the damn baby, you meat jerk? Alright. Alright, we're getting pushed back just by the shots here of uh, Blue Baby. You know what, I might just stand here. I don't, I don't feel like it's taking a second longer than it should. So we're just gonna stand here and proc Mo the Void while using the cube. Alright, a terrible, agonizing run. I'm glad it's over. I apologize if my opinion, your opinion of me, suffered during it, but it's agonizing times. Sorry about that. Anyway, if you somehow enjoyed this run, please leave a like. If you hated this run just like I did, please smash that dislike button. And tune in tomorrow for day uh, 25 to Repentance, because today is 26 days, and every 24 hours, that number decreases by one. Thanks for watching, thanks for being here, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Until then, have a great day.